It's me. Let's get it, bro. Welcome it's back Cuts. to another podcast, baby. RTT. All right. Um, let's get it. Shit, I'm your host, DV. God damn it. I'm here, uh, a.k.a. Barney. Uh, I'm here with Cods, a.k.a. Orange Mon, a.k.a. Highlighter. Highlighter. Shout out Freshy. Yes. Yo, that's Fresh House. Yeah, you already know that's, that is. That would be, that's, that's a good ass drop. Um, it, yeah, so uh, we got Matt in the stew, and we also got Kesson in the stew, too. What's yeah, good? Yeah. Um, and off rip, I'm coming out with hate. That's off not, rip. That's not nice. Off rip. Let me let me get uh let me get the drops. Let me get the drops in there. Hold on. Hold on. Before we even guy. get started, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm loving that DV's entering 2023 fresh as shit. Not talking about his drip. I'm talking about his technology, baby. Uh, My guy upgraded. <laughs> hold on. My guy got the 13 <laughs> on deck. Huh? 13 Pro. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a pro. 13 Pro. If, huh? Not the Max. Just the Pro. If y'all big know tough. DV personally, you know this This is big. <laughs> this is, this a, is big. Yeah, this, this is a big wait, one for wait. me. Pause. And AirPods. Let's get it. AirPods on deck. I mean, next Proud week, Mac. Mac. Let's get, get it, bro. Up in the stuck, bro. My man went slick. from 2017 to 2023 real fucking quick. Yeah, I had to it catch up. This guy's getting a bag. I had to catch up. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> Let's get to this shit, man. And only naturally, uh, with me getting to this bag, how, I have to. Fast this movie. <laughs> I have to. Re- <laughs> I know. Don't relax. <laughs> no, no, no more. Me waiting for the app to. I couldn't even fucking FaceTime and go on apps, bro. Like it's just crazy. Anyways, let's get it. So, uh, with me going into or with all of us going into New Year, but me specifically, I said, okay, let's release all of the hate that we have or that I had this year. That's why I said in the group chat, yo, let's make that make a hate list, right? So I feel I like I put um, alphabetical order. <laughs> did I? Yeah, you did. Okay, well, yeah, because mine is in alphabetical order. So off rip, I'm gonna start off with some hate. Um, Let's get it. And yeah, okay. So on my hate list, I have absolute vodka, arrogant oh Toronto my. tings. Oh my! Uh, black men who say that they won't go to Banna because they're not trying to get shot, whatever that means. Uh, baby dies that don't take care of their youth. Uh, Canada soccer team men. Not the women's team, because the women's team is nice. They the, did the men's great. Team. We men just uh, shook it. Cancer, cancel culture, uh, car niggas with no personalities, not Cordell, because Cordell has a personality. Cats. is stuck. I have cats on my list. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> I had cats on the list, too. Yeah. Uh, fat managers. Friends, the TV show. I'm going to tell you right. <gasps> How could you? Friends of TV show is insanely terrible. No, it's not. Fam, they're no, in New not. York, and tell me when you see a black person. <laughs> okay, that's why it's terrible. You can't just jump to I'm that. Waiting, I'm waiting, though. I'm waiting. Right. I understand. Uh, okay. not a, but you can't jump to that thing. It's terrible. It's corny. Uh, <laughs> gym rats that show off their pumped chest in videos. I don't understand what that's about. Yeah, that's, that's, Matt, that's it's, you. It's, it's for the boys. It's not for the girls. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. We need a pause drop. That's okay. what we need. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to give you guys the inside scoop. So for the guys, I, in, the guys I, I, in the gym. I don't think I want it. No, 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 no. For the guys in the gym, like, like, like we think we're impressing girls, but realistically, the only guy, the only people that are impressed are the, the guys. Yeah, they're coming up to you. He's like, yo, and they're like, like, yo, why are you like, doing yo, this? How long, long? how long have you been in the gym for? Like, uh, yeah. like bro, like your the chest. Gr- half the girls don't give a shit. So, no, fam. so that's just uh, stays on my list more. Uh, I also have <laughs> girls that think making uh, the popping sound while sucking on balls is hot. It's not. So, for example, the never had that. I just want to say, I just want to, I just want to sound, sound wet. That's it. Facts, Matt. You could hit a gun drop for that. Uh, ironically, gun violence towards rappers. Uh, Fabio yeah. Foreign's English teacher. Uh, hypocrites. Yeah, yeah. The hoe that doesn't want to be a hoe for you. Oh. Yo, okay, then I'm just gonna. Yo, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say the ones that I already. Okay. Hold on. I also have uh, iPhones. I have Jimmy Butler's hairstylist. Fuck in- this guy, bro. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Jimmy Butler's hairstylist this year. No, I don't. Uh, Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh. Just Yo, the, they're, the they're, 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 they're gay lover boys, okay? <laughs> they're going to go down in history. <laughs> Matt, that was, Matt Burping. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, facts. <laughs> um, no, no, no. So I also have uh, Jada Pickett-Smith. I have uh, Kobe, our Kobe, uh, sports takes. Really bad. <laughs> uh, LeBron James on the court. 
LeBron's fans, especially the ones that live in Canada, don't understand that. Uh, Marty's wife, Ozark. Matt, when he says he's pressing record, but he <laughs> <laughs> when he says he's pressing record, then he we find it. out he wasn't recording and we wasted twenty minutes of content. Yes, that is on the list. Uh, mechanics, Meg Griffin, needles. Fuck, man. <laughs> Make the stallion. Fuck. Uh, no. Uh, niggas who get drunk and look for fights. North America. Uh, overly negative people. I know it's ironic because I'm making a hate list and so much shit. But uh, yeah, overly negative people. I have Pink Whitney, Payless. I have PTSD <laughs> from Payless. Said Payless. PTSD Pink, from Payless. Pink Whitney is the worst drink I've ever had in my life. I, I have PTSD f- uh, for Payless, Payless. <laughs> though, because my parents would constantly buy me Payless shoes after I would tell them, yo, this ki- there's a hole by my toe, and they would tell me, yo, walk lighter. Um, walk lighter? I also have people who can swim. Uh, should so I? You're just a hater of, of fish. No, I love fish. Shut up. Shut up, man. Uh, uh, yeah. That was uh, terrible. So I have uh, should I, could I, would I niggas oh, telling a D, story. That is your highest. Yeah, it's it's in there. It's up there. It's top a- 10. And, and Matt will later on explain a should I, could I, would I story. And I'm going to be like, Ugh. But anyways, um, stoners who don't know how to roll. What's up with that? Uh, Superman. Tasha from Power, TikTok, Tom Brady on and off the field since Cordell wants to be his man's now. Uh, Toronto, oh uh, Transformers, and yes, I'm watching the new Transformers Hell movie. Yeah. But I had Transformers in there. If Yo, you get Avatar, it, you get it. Avatar Two came out. Nah, Matt, I don't fuck we're not that. there That's yet. That's on my list. Uh, the Devil, <laughs> of course, right? Uh, big culture when they can't find their vapes. Uh, Walter White Jr. That's a fa- wait. Hold on, mm-hmm. vape culture. They can't find their vapes. It's crazy. They're demons, bro. Yeah, they, yeah, legit. They'll turn shit over. Yeah, yeah. They'll and, fuck shit up. And and they don't like want any help or anything. No. And they'll get frustrated with the, per- the people around them. Yeah, yeah it's just not, not fun. Cool. Uh, you, I also, vape, you vape people. Yeah. Uh, fix up. I have uh, Walter White Jr. from Baking Bad. I have Walter White's wife from Baking Bad too. And uh, whenever C- Pascal Siakam spins. And I have winter. And that is my hate list. Let's get some clapping wow, for my hate list. God, yeah. D- DV went ham on his hate list. Those are just the things that I hate and that has been. Um, my hate list, no, clo- well, we have some similarities. I'm going to say the ones I don't have, like, are not the same. Yeah, go. No, just, you can say your, your own hate list. Well, like, holy, yeah. bro. So I started out with, <clears throat> I hate, I hate. This is, like, probably my, my top. Number one, screw the, screw the alphabet. Number okay. one, yeah. I hate bicyclists. I hate y'all. Y'all oh, on the street. Bicyclists. I oh, hate okay. y'all. Cyclists. Cyclists. I don't give a fuck. Bicyclists, <laughs> cyclists. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. Cyclists. Cycle, cyclists. Michael, Michael, I'm in no, a business. Cyclists. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. When I'm in Toronto, it's always a, a, a next thought. It's like, I have to look for a biker. Hence why. I hate it. Hence why in mine, I just said Toronto because there's that. I hate the parking enforcements. I hate. Oh. Traffic, like the, I was, all the I shit. I'm sorry about that after. Yeah. Well, park enforcement. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's one. Shout out to the bicycle bicyclists. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we gave you we gave you a new nickname because yeah, you guys fuck are you guys. You guys, guys, you guys are a bunch are of annoying. fucking waste Y'all y'all taking left turns like your cars, and I don't see you, and I knock you down, and then, and then it's my fault. <laughs> and I'm going straight. And then they get brave and want to kick on your fucking car. <laughs> Real shit, <laughs> fuckers. Uh, catfishing. I feel that should be illegal. That's my biggest hate. I hate that shit. That shit's dis- that's disrespectful. I'm with you. And, uh, what, about, what about dog fishing? Dudes do it too. I'm gonna continue. Um, <laughs> I hate people that don't communicate. <clears throat> Let's okay. get, I hate EI. Yeah, I think EI is kind of absolutely stupid because okay. you pay into it. I hate iPhones. Yes. Oh. I hate lateness, meaning I hate y'all niggas that say three thirty and y'all come at five thirty. That's mad. Mm-hmm. Pools. I don't like pools. Uh, pools as in. Sorry, well, swimming. I saw sorry, he's swimming. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a hot tub man, so I can stand up. Yes, sir. If I hate. You, if you ever drown in a hot tub, you're. Never mind. Sorry. I'm sure I, it's right, happening. Yo, people have people have done that. Yeah. R. Fuck R. you. I was dead. Yo, bitch. R. I. T. R. I. P. To the R. special R. people. R. I. T. R. I. T. What's R. I. T. Think, think, think. Right off. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, it's a good thing you said that. I hate taxes, too. Uh, yes. I hate winter. Um, okay. Reliability, meaning, like, I hate people that are not reliable. I can't rely on them. Yes. Um, I hate Doug Ford. I hate Trudeau. Okay. Um, sorry. I'm keep scrolling and thinking. Back and thinking. 
We're gonna have to bring this around with some positive energy after this. Like, no, we'll just get into the shits. I just wanted to get all of our hate out because, like, the shit. You know, I I kind of worked on this list for a minute, obviously, and uh, that's all I have still. Yeah, I'll try to repeat the same things, but yeah, fire, Matt. Hit some shit for cards. I should. I like. I like all of our. All of our hates. I like it. Going to the new year different, bro. Hell yeah. Hell Completely, yeah. bro. Um, give me a time when you had to bet on yourself and you prevailed. Since we want to change it up and get into some positive shit. Time I bet on myself. Mm-hmm. Oh. Probably like a big one for me was when I was 16. Mm-hmm. And not even 16, yeah, no, I was 17. And we were going on this trip, and I already told everybody that I'll be driving on the trip, but I didn't even have enough money to pay for the car, and I didn't even know what car I was buying, and I didn't even know what was going to happen. Uh-oh. So everything fell on my hands, and I made sure I just clutched it and worked my ass off to purchase that shit because I knew everything was falling on me still. Um. Okay. So you had, how did you prevail, though, exactly, like, Oh, I made sure I figured out what vehicle I was buying and I bought it and made sure I had enough money to buy it. And I didn't, when I said what I was, what I was going to do, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just said it just because like putting it out in the universe made me more motivated to get it done. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Matt, if you're listening. Just, th- this is actually recent as of like this week. Yeah. I literally was like, I applied to this coaching program and it's a pretty high end coaching program. Like it's not cheap whatsoever. Like, like between 4K to like 5K USD, which is like 5,500 to like 6,800 dollars to get in. You have to apply all that kind of, kind of shit. When I figured out the price after I applied, they're like, all right, here's, here's the price. Here's the price and structure, everything like that. I was like, yo, I don't got that kind of money right now to like dish out for like coaching and shit. So got bills paying everything like that. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. There, there's always a way where there's a will, there's a way. So I started applying everywhere. I was like, where can I get a loan? Where I can get this, where I can get that. Found a place that wanted to give me a loan. Got got it got it actually into my account today, so I'm ready to take on that challenge. And yeah, it's it's gonna be it's, it's a big hit. Like with the loan, it's a fucking crazy interest rate, and it'd be like if I don't pay it back quickly, it's gonna be fucking a nasty bill each month. But mm-hmm. fuck it, I I need this, so I'm gonna bet I'm bet on myself the next three months. And we're gonna get, get shit done, get this shit paid off, mm-hmm. and within the next six months, and we're gonna fucking it's gonna we're gonna rock this fucking next next year, 2023. So of course that's that's pretty much my story. We're we're gonna we're gonna wait and see if I prevail in the next couple of months. It's pending. Or whether I go under. It's pending. We'll see. It's pending. I'm be- I bet on myself right now. Always gotta bet on yourself. I feel like betting on yourself is like it's such a great and challenging great thing though. It's a great feeling. It it is once everything comes into fruition, but I feel like it's scary. Just, it, yeah, that's what I'm trying to it's say. It's scary. scary it, it was hella scary signing scary. the fucking the loan deal today. I was like fucking shit, man. This is like it, if. If I don't pay it off quick, this is like 17 G's. I feel Goodness. like over four, I four feel years. Like us, like the people around me, like right now, when it comes to anything that you make a decision on, I feel like you're intelligent enough to figure it out. Well, shit, we just had the convo of we were just like, damn, like it's weird that we are so old now, where it's like, yeah, if we have a kid, then there's yeah. no, yeah, you no, know? yeah. Hold Show. So it's, it's, it's just uh, dope. It's like, you'll figure it out, I promise you. Like, there's so many situations I've been in, and I'm like, nah, I'm going to figure this out. Yep. I'm not going to Everything gonna is figureoutable, man. Yeah, Everything. bro. Like, God, I always believe in that one saying, like, God will never hand you something that you can't handle. I promise you. Yeah, it's, it, it's you all this, in your head. If he hands you this, he, he believes in you. He yeah. does. He believes you can get it done. Yeah. Yeah. I, I literally, I, I, literally I literally heard this thing the other week where it, it, it was literally like, yo, if if you're going through like a shit time and uh, you've taken like a massive L, there's a reason why you took that massive L. Mm-hmm. It, it might have been because of your choices, everything like that. But oftentimes, the man upstairs is clearing this out is shit out of your life to make room for some better shit. This is why I got it tatted on me. A setback instead of for a comeback. Mm-hmm. Come on now. It sets you up. I promise you. I I, I promise you. Just because, like, be you're grateful for right the L's, now, man. Be I grateful for the L's. You learn so much from it, and guess what? You can teach other people. That's, that's what I realized. You guys <laughs> understand that. That's funny. There's been a time where I was like, "Yo, like, I don't know my purpose. Like, I went to school, didn't really do well in school. Went to college, I did one year of college. Passed that, but I had a next year, didn't finish that. 
But I was like, yo, what's my purpose? What, what, what did I get put on this earth for? And I learned, like, yo, teach other people. Let people learn through you. Yeah, and the only, way, the only way you're going to find out what your purpose is and, like, what you're meant to be doing here is it's if you crazy. dabble in a bunch of different things. Exactly. You try different things. You do the research. Exactly. And, and if you bet on yourself. Exactly. And, if you big, and big, if you bet on yourself. And you have to do that. If you want to level up, you got to bet on yourself. yourself. Let's talk about it. Hell yeah, This man. year was crazy. Mm-hmm. This year was crazy. I feel like every podcast I keep like coming back and like sharing like my experience, but the in whole- that week in that week you learn something new about about something. It's like yo, look, look, looking back and it's like yo, this is crazy. I need to bring this to the pod and let people learn about it. Dog, the way I was just like down bad at my previous job, and I was just like, fuck, these hours are crazy. Yeah. My manager is fucking short. <laughs> so so annoying, just pissing me off, like. Every time I wanted to punch him in his it's, face, it's always the short guys, eh? Bruh. And I didn't want to add short guys there because I was just like, you know, like you're just born like that. But that's why I put fat managers because fat managers just be hating on the skinny niggas. Yes, oh, yeah. big wrong. time, big yeah, time, man. Big time, be hating for no reason. But no, like the whole, the whole betting on yourself thing is super important. It's like, important. like I was saying, I was going through just crazy shit at my previous job, and I left it. Thinking, you know, I'm going to find some next shit. Or thinking the job I applied for was going to be some shit. was some scam shit. I said, okay, fuck it. Every fucking day, 50 applications every day. There's yeah. no excuse. There's no excuse. Literally, there's no, like. There's literally none. Es- especially if you live in the GTA. There's no excuse. Everyone's hiring. Dog, everywhere is literally hiring. It's like, There's no some people some people have a too much of a pride to work at certain spots though. I realize that. Yes. I don't want to work that, at Tim Hortons. But oh, I don't want to work at Costco. I don't want to work at and, the and it, simply squeeze. And it like, depends how down bad you are. It's true. It depends on how down bad bad you are, right? And I get it. I get it. Right. But in this generation. Don't waste time. No. In this generation, this is the easiest to apply to places ever. Ever. Yeah, Ever. I'm, I'm hiring, by the way. I'm hiring, by the way. Matt, just now. Hold on. Ever. So go out and do what you have to do. Yeah. Dog, I bet on myself. I am I got into the shit. And I'm just yeah. kicking down the door. I'm just going to keep kicking down this fucking door. All you I guys see the new iPhone. You're <laughs> not talking shit, but no, like he this manifested this asshole. shit and this shit into existence. Shit he was saying this like literally six, eight months ago. He's like, yo, I'm going to get this shit. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And now look at it. But this it's, shit it's, is dead ass. Like, and even it's here, like, even if you have that extra help, like I've been in those jobs where I've gotten uh, help to get into and it just didn't pan out. Yeah. And now that I'm doing it myself, it's so much more fruitful. Yeah. It feels a lot. Like I'm just too. having my way with this shit and I'm just going to keep going. Like, the only person that could fuck it up is me. Is me. That's so I'm just like, nah, like we keep our head down. We get straight. straight to work. Be straight. And I'm just running this bag. It's funny because I called about? I called DVD the other day. He didn't answer the phone. I'm like, this nigga usually answers the phone. Messaging me back saying, yo, I'm studying. I'm like, yo. Oh. I said, yo, my bad. <laughs> Do your thing, fam. You get back to me when you can't still. Do your shit. Study your bag. <laughs> you done one. Come on now. Man, studying for that new role, huh? Yeah, fam. Wait. Yeah, fam. Do you got a new role? That's crazy. Yeah, no, real <laughs> shit. Like, I, like, nowadays, like, yo, you need to set yourself up to win. I promise you, like, nowadays, like, listening to the news is somewhat, like, depressing in a way, but also, like, teaches you and, like, lets you learn about what's actually happening out there. Interest rates. What's happening with, with everything with, with rentals. Bro, to rent a place right now, a two-bedroom is a 3000 doesn't make any sense. Fifteen hundred a man if you have a roommate. How is that even making logical Damn. sense? Doesn't make any sense. Before bills, that's insane to me. So yeah. I all I want to say and preach to other people is like I like understand this. Things are just gonna go up. You working your job right now is cool, and don't get me wrong, keep doing that. But you need to add to it. You need to understand that you need to get a side hustle. You, you do. Might, you have to. I promise you, it will help you out so much. You need to find a way where you control your income. You got to adapt. Just add on to what you're doing. You got to adapt to what's and, going on. And and uh, to follow up from two pods ago, just do more. Exactly. I won't. I won't say. I won't say you had to work for yourself because some people just no. not built for that, right? Adapt. But just do more. Adapt. Just adapt more, to what's yo. going on. Because at the end of the day, it's just gonna get worse, and you got to be ready for everything that's gonna happen. Because guess yeah, we what? We got we got recession coming in 2023. Nobody so. else cares about you except for you. Especially yeah. when you have youths. Guess what? You got to care. You about can only save you. Too. You can only save you. There you go. That's why they always say put your mask on first before you help anyone else on the plane. So that's it. Oh yeah. Put your mask on first. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, save. You, you, you need to make sure you, you, need, you need to make sure you're no, good no, before no, anybody else no. is good. When the masks drop, they say put yours on first you and then help. You can't. You can't. Else. You can't save anybody if now. you're dead. You can't save anybody if you're dead. Got it. Come on now, Matthew. Thanks, guys. Big tough. All right. So, a question that's uh, been getting social media in a frenzy lately. Wow. A man has two girls. Okay. He lies to one. Okay. He tells the truth to the other. Okay. Which one does he love? <laughs> I just oh, stumped. The thing, the thing that he lied to, he loves more. Mm, why do you say that? Because the thing that I'm telling the truth to, I don't give a fuck about. Because <laughs> whatever, however, way, however, which way she takes it, I don't care. That's why I'm going to tell the truth to her. Hold on. The team that I'm lying to, I'm trying to save her from the nonsense. I'm trying to save her from the bullshit. I agree with Cordell. <laughs> and I'm going to have to play Doe's advocate now. You are. Okay. I see you. I see this. Yeah. And I know you're trying to think. Listen, but no real shit. That is some real shit. And again, this is a safe place for men. We could of course you know, say what we want to say here. All right, before you go, Matt, what do you think? I want to hear what Matt has to say. I love hearing what Matt okay, said so- before. So, so the scenario, you're pretty much like lying to one girl and you're telling, telling the, the truth, truth to the, to other, the other one. Which, which, one, which one, one do you love? Which one does a man love? Oh, fucking the one, honesty all the way. Honesty. <laughs> Ed. Why do you say, oh, how do I have to play those? Like? <laughs> honesty, man. If you love the girl, I'm going to tell her the truth. I don't care about it. Is So you're to tell her about the other girl. Which one does he love more? That's, That's what I'm saying. Well, there's, there's, there's an expression. <laughs> Dancing. Oh, there's, oh, dancing. There's, there, there's, dancing. there's there's an expression. If uh, if you're with a girl, and then you, and then you cheat on her with another girl, you should probably leave the girl you're currently with because you probably love the other one more. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we never love the side thought more. Are you kidding me? That one night. If if, what? if there's a second option, like she wasn't the first in the first place. You know what I mean? Like, listen, man. It's great to have. Hey, Keston, I need, I need, okay, I need, I need another one. Keston, what do you, what do you, what are you hearing? What do you think? Can you repeat the question? You weren't paying attention. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, I thought you was. So I can't. I can't I'm, see him. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm rolling with you, Cordell. I'm Fam. rolling with you. The guy is only going to lie to the other thing just because he wants to keep her happy. Exactly. You want to keep and her he, safe. He's going to tell the truth to the other one cuz she don't give a fuck cuz she goes she goes. Like, yeah. Who's a fuck? Yeah. There's other ones that's, you can get just like that. It's, it's fucked up, but that's just how it is. Yeah. Bro. That's just Matt, you haven't is. given me like a real Oh, just because I lied to her because that and then she wasn't the first one cuz she wasn't the first one. Nah, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? That don't she make wasn't no the first yeah, one. that doesn't make she no sense. So you just keep like overlapping things then. That's why you have like 30 things you're talking to. You have one main thing. You got a rotation going. But you have a girl for K. Then does he need more context? Okay, so, so yeah, give me more context. You've been dating the girl for two years. Okay. But you also have a side. And you have a side piece. But you you have you're in the decision of now are you gonna so lie dating, to your main? Am, am, am I like dating her or am I like in a like a fucking It's exclusive your fucking relationship? girlfriend. It's your fuck it's your it's your ting. It's your gal. It's your wife. So, it's wifey. I, I wouldn't have a side ting then. Myself, Matt. That's not the question. We're seeing add no, on. That's the good. Fa- that's good, yo. Matt, here's some clapping for yourself. Me too, yo. Me too. I agree. Like a- <laughs> there's a delay, there's a I hate of a, you guys. I'm, I'm, no, no, the I'm, magic of editing. No, no I'm, I'm fuck. I'm fucking. Yeah, with guess Cordo. what? I'm, I'm cutting all that bullshit out. No, no, I'm fucking <laughs> with Cordo. I'm fucking with Cordo though. I, I'm, I'm rolling though. Like, no, like that the thing, the thing that the guy lies to, he's trying to protect. He's trying to make sure everything goes good. And the fucked up thing is, like, your girl will be thinking that you be lying when you're telling the truth, truth. about some shit. It's true. So just like, you know what? I'm going to lie to you. Yeah. Let's see if this works. And then it's just like, okay. <laughs> it's just like, what? Like, what? You that did, shouldn't even work. Yeah, this, this, that shouldn't this, even work. This can kind of segue into a topic where it's pretty much like, what What do you guys lie to things about? Like to like sh- like almost like shield them, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of stuff that they don't they don't need to know. Do you know what I mean? Like like you can lie, you can pretty much. No, you're the first girl that's ever uh, been in my bed. Uh, <laughs> 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 what they what they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> Yo, do you crazy for that one? <laughs> this guy is a madman. It's a brand new bed. 
Yeah, I'm, guy, waiting, for, I'm guys, waiting for y'all. Guys, <laughs> guys that uh, lies that guys tell girls that that they that they really don't know about. Go. No, you're Matt. the prettiest girl I've ever dated. <laughs> This pussy's the tightest pussy I've ever been in. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Your throat game, probably one of the best in the game. I call you the goat. <laughs> nah, I don't I don't be boosting that. I don't be boosting. Your Glock Glock 9000? Nah, I don't be boosting that because if she has weak game, I don't want her to continue the weak game. You ever notice how, like, the niggas that... Have the things with the weak head, like don't mention it at all. Yo, reward and like, punishment. Like they skip straight to the pokes. Like if you if your girl I, has a great yo, throat, you, yo, gotta reward and punishment. you gotta tell yo, them. You gotta tell them. No, no, no. Job. But if your girl has a great throat, yeah, like yeah. you show her hand, you tell her hand, you talking about but, it and stuff. Like, like she'll know that you're feeling that great. But then again, you can act. Yo, some girls really shout out to the last EP. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Dead act, asshole. Actor and actress. Oh, I got one. I got one. No one makes me feel as good as you do. <gasps> Kesson, that's probably out of, out of the 20 EPs you've been on, that's probably one of those fire things you said. I like uh, the that was smooth great. criminal over here. Like that's it. great. Smooth criminal. Like like yeah, it. that's a fact. Like that's it. a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. But then when I don't when I don't nut and <laughs> 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 I don't, that, 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 that thing doesn't work uh, Cor, Cor, Cordell's favorite Injury <laughs> uh, well, I was, I was going to say red card Orange card Orange card Orange card Orange card Orange card I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done Oh Cramp <laughs> yo, yo my mom's My mom's never liked a girl like this before Oh <laughs> my That's good <laughs> This is terrible. This is terrible. My Same mom haven. my mom loves you. <laughs> <laughs> my mommy lying. Oh my god. Mommy lying. What else what else, man? You know what? I think that I've actually told what time I actually told a girl that my mom does not like you? <laughs> I told her. What'd she say? She's like, oh my god, why? And I had to explain to her why and I was like shit. It's okay, it's probably a sign. Yeah. <laughs> See, oh, that's why you man. told the side of the truth. Well, he just proved it. He just proved it. He tells that, yeah, my mom doesn't really like you. Yeah. Why? Because you're a thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real shit. <laughs> you, just keep, you just go upstairs to my room yeah, every time. And you'll say hi. Here. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, okay. <laughs> great, great. Thanks, Matt. That was good. Um, I really hate this guy, bro. What else I got for you guys? Okay. What is the best way to hit on someone in retail? Like in a retail environment? She works in retail. You're the custody. What's the best way to hit on someone in retail? Oh, yo, on. yo, you gotta, you gotta run a campaign on them. So you don't, uh, you don't do it in one shot. You don't do I it in one shot. I go back there multiple times. Yeah. No. That's yeah. Because, because getting somebody's number while they're working. No, 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 no. no. Let Matt finish. Okay, Let Matt finish. I apologize. So finish. go ahead, Matt. Getting somebody's number while they're working can sometimes be a challenge, and sometimes if it's a girl, especially, they'll be uncomfortable with it, especially if their managers, managers looking over their shoulder and shit. So. Sometimes you got to run a bit of a campaign, get to know them a bit, one, two, three, four okay, times. Okay, okay, fine, Matt. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go that. We're gonna say like the managers in the back doing something, and like you have your opportunity. That's what we're gonna say. You have your opportunity. Oh, opportunity's open. What are you doing? Is what do you trying to say? No, that's not you what run, I'm trying to say. You run. No? I'm just trying to say hit on. What's the best way to hit on a retail? I'm not adding anything else. Um, I'm yeah. gonna grab what I need to go try on because I already know it's gonna fit me. I already know how it's gonna look on me. But I'm gonna go try it on. And I'm gonna ask Shorty how's it look, and then once I hear so her, so what so her feelings so are on so it, so you're going indirect. Not, you're going indirect. Yeah, I'm going indirect. indirect. Okay. Yeah, I always indirect. go indirect. Always. Nice. Change room. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out in the shirt and the pants and be like, Yo, what do you think of this? Like, I have it for a wedding tonight. Like, what do you think of this? Like, oh, I like, know you look good. Well, thank you. And then get into conversation. Yeah. Pull her in. Like, Yo, do you mind grabbing me like the other? Medium, like bring that back. Con keep conversating, but I'm not running a campaign like that. I'm not going back and forth. I'm not coming here more than once. I have to in places that you frequent. If it's a store you frequent, you should run a campaign because how do you know when she's working? You don't. You don't. So then, <laughs> and I'm rolling with Matt. I'm rolling with Matt. If, if, if it's 100%. a place you frequent, you don't want to like as as soon as you start picking up on one girl, all the girls will be looking and they're gonna be like, oh, this is the guy that picks up all the shorties at the Walmart. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta kind of play it, like play it off as like. There's no way you guys are running a campaign like that. If you frequent whatever place, then yeah. Walmart's different because you can go shop in Walmart. But I'm saying, let's say for example, it's a guest, it's a store. Like you're actually buying clothes from. Are you going there one time? 
Well, fam, you're, you're talking about doing fucking recon work, fam. Like, what do you mean? How many times are you going to go in there to buy the same th- shit? Like, okay, I don't so, understand. So, so if you're going to go in there one time, if it's like a, a one-time purchase, like every like three months Retail. or whatever, you, you, literally, you literally see the girl, you walk in, and you're like, okay, she's she's like a fucking a smoking like eight yeah, or nine. Yeah, continue. All right, cool. Go, go fucking direct approach. Direct approach. Go up to her and be like, hey, I thought you were cute. I had to come over and say hi. How many is Matt? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go on a conversation. I'm not doing the recon work, fam. Mm. Not doing the recon nah, work. Nah, you, you, you can literally go direct. I'm, I'm rolling you break with in a conversation. Though. I'm rolling with Matt. Because you, you go, you peep in the first time. You do whatever. You're innocent, whatever, whatever. Okay, you leave. You made whatever type of impression. Come back. Double back. You're looking. The, the fucked up thing is, you got to... As a guy, you eventually end up buying some shit that you don't want to buy. Yeah, that's my point. I'm not doing that. Even, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Well, even the direct way, you're trying on some shit. Yeah, but I'm buying is, it. Is like, it I'm indirect there way. for the so, shit. So you just, you just said There's, you're buying some shit. That, well, that's, well, that's why I'm there. I'm not going to go into a store if I'm not buying something. What do you mean? I'm there for a reason already. There's, I'm there's, wrong, there, there's three different openers. That doesn't mean. There's, there's, guess there's, what? We all end up buying something. There's three different openers, boys. <laughs> we all. But you're saying you're buying something you don't want. I'm not gonna go and buy something I don't mm-hmm. want. Is what I'm saying. You're, okay, you're so saying you're buying something you don't want. I'll get something like whatever. It's, <laughs> it's, no, it's something you don't want. No, you don't play, I'll make you an excuse. There, you went there to go scout yeah. out the shorty. Yes. You didn't mean to buy this. That's something you don't want. You but, didn't go there for the thing you're going there for. Well, That's like going to the Apple Store. Mm-hmm. Scoping out a shorty and getting some headphones. You don't have to buy the headphones. You can just go in and get the shorty and get out. I, I, That's my point. I, yeah. think, I think all guys, though, eventually just end up buying some shit just for the Yo, sake of it. For all the guys out there, don't do not do that. If like, I just the, don't, don't do that for the sake of it. I'm not, no, exactly. I'm not don't, doing don't it for do the sake it. of the... No, I'm not doing that. Yo, boys. So, so I'm gonna put you on game. There's, there's three, three, three types <laughs> of approaches. Say that, that be saying that every there's, bot. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's three, pro- three approaches. There's direct approach, where you pretty much like go out, stay, go up to the girl, state your intention, be like, you're cute, blah blah blah. I had to come talk to you, and then open up. Next approach is like, like Cordell, the indirect approach. You're asking her for directions. You're asking her where the, where the fucking Starbucks is down the street. You're asking her yeah. like, what, what, where, where's the aisle for this? Yeah. You kind of open her, and, and then and, and, you're asking what that, yo, what's that shit him for? And then and and then then what, you, <laughs> what then what you can do is is you can go indirect. So there's a combination. I feel like I feel you, like you can you're do like building, an indirect direct. You're building rapport when you're just having that same conversation within the same yeah hour, like hour or thirty minutes it's, that you're there. It's, yeah, true. You, what you're doing when you're going back and forth and you you're open just keep and doing eject. this, you're doing that. But like exactly, you're giving the opportunity for other people to come in. Yeah, you open. wouldn't have that. You wouldn't have that right direct conversation with her and that one person when yeah. you're there already. The time. Last, the, time. The, the last, time, 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 time. I'm gonna do one. The, the, the last one. The last one is situational openers. Situational are pretty much like say you're at a concert and you're you're literally beside this like there's this. this Banging group of broads right beside you. Yeah, you, you you literally look at one of them. You make eye contact with one of them. She makes eye contact with you, and you, and you literally like you're like, yo, this rapper is sick, or whatever it is. Like you do a situation opener, and then you guys start talking about who's on stage. That'd be more so situational. So you call call yeah. it something in your environment. Yeah. If the girl's beside you, you, you ask her opinion on it or whatnot. That's my favorite. The, That's the I best use those one. all the time. <laughs> and then Matt, and then I, I can't wait in. to see it. I can't yeah. wait to see it. Bet. I do it all the time. All right, three three types of openers. Use them, use them whenever you want, whatever you prefer. And, and uh, yeah, just game. fucking, you just start opening girls and ejecting. Ask them for directions and shit. Do 20 approaches a week. You'll be on game in no time. 100. 20 approaches a week? Yes. All right, we're back to the shits, man. We took a little hiatus, a little break, a little hour. A little, little breather. You already know what it is. Um, let me just a little snare for you guys. Okay. Is it a story? <laughs> I see that. All good, man. I know you're back. You're back. You're back. Let's get it, man. Do you Dubai. press record? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. 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 So you're in a s- scenario. Okay. You have a wife of six months. Mm hmm. So recent. Six months pregnant. So it's recent. She pregnant. Or no? Oh, no, just you've been dating. You guys okay, been married, been married for married six, for six okay. months. Okay. All right. So Got you're it. still in the honeymoon phase. Yes. Yes. If you guys were to get into a fight, how quick? And this, by the way, is a real story. I'm just remixing it. How quick would you guys be to move on and call divorce on it? Oh, fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! No, no. No, if we just went through all that bullshit of a wedding, fuck out of here. I'll go to my corner, whack off 10 times. You go to your corner, 
Use a fucking vibrator I got you, and we we gonna come back and fix we, shit, this shit. Six months, and I dare Matt to say his old shit of yo, and I'm gone. No, you just invested. Let, let, let Matt, let no, Matt answer. No, I know I will, but yo, if you just did all that, because I'm super, I'm super like anti the wedding process, all, all the ring, yeah, all I'm that not shit. A, I'm not a big fan. If, of but that if anymore. I did all that shit, that took a lot out of me to do. And it's a lot of money too. And it's a lot of fucking money. So divorce, that's not even coming into the picture. No. No. Six to nine months, yeah. No. Nah. No. You nah. guys are gonna fight for it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So so, I, yeah. Dude, if if if, if I decided to if I decide that I wanna lock it down and marry a girl, fuck out of here. I'm there's there's no way it's gonna be six months and they're gonna be like thinking about divorce. Not a chance. I I will do thorough selection before I pick this girl to lock down. How long do you guys like? She's she's gonna have to prove to me that she's wifey material. And I'm agreeing with you guys. How long do you guys? And this is obviously differ depending on human and relationship and person. But you can get like a grasp of what you guys think. But how long would you guys have to date somebody to get an idea if they're the one? So I have, oh, I have sorry, Keston. Okay. So from personal Wait, experience. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yes, Keston, the one who hasn't dated a girl yet. Please, show us. I'm just basing off a of personal experience, right? Like, I have friends. That <laughs> That's not personal have, experience, okay, so, but okay, okay. Okay, well, in my circle, right? So I have friends that have been dated for, that have been dating for years, years and years. Marriage lasted nine months. So, I mean, it just goes to say, right? It doesn't really matter. It does not really matter how long you've been dating or not dating because you could be dating for seven, eight years. You get married, the marriage lasts eight months. So No, I think it matters. Right? It's how well you know the person. You shouldn't have gotten married if you didn't really know the person. You shouldn't know who you're getting married to. So that's why my question mm. is, how long? Well, his thing is, it, it it says he's saying that yes, I've known this person for a long ass time. Yeah, and then you get married. We got married and we broke nine up. months so in. So it's not like I didn't know. He's saying like I'm not like I didn't know this thing. I can be. I know exactly it. what scenario you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So that, that gets still- that out of here. That definitely gets that out of here. Yeah, like like I said, if if you're looking to break up with a girl, like in divorce, six months after marriage, yo, the man the man's not the either the the woman's not not, not doing something right or the man's not doing something right. Now, if, if it's a man, he's he's probably gone into his feminine side. He's being agreeable with her. She he's letting her make the decisions, <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, you have zero. She's, you she's have taken zero context over. of what has happened, so you can't you can't just guess. I'm just I am yeah I'm guessing I'm making up making up a scenario because there has to be something that went wrong. Something went it, wrong, for, but you can't just be like, yeah. oh, he's moving like a bitch. I'm, you I'm, can't I'm, say that because <laughs> what if what for example he's the one that make, that's making the money and she's not holding her end of the deal. And he said, yo, I'm done with this. There's there's all different scenarios. We got to pick one and go after it. I'm not going to go off into after a scenario. I'm just going to say, like, what would you do in that situation where you're put up to the, against the wall and you're like, yo, it's either am I staying to fight for this or am I going to go? So me, I'm going to fight for this. But I'm gonna, can we can we add one context? Is it my fault or her fault? That Like, that's just the simplest. That's the easiest. Yeah, so yeah, it's her without, fault. It's her fault. It's her fault. So oh, I'm fault. gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm Gonna Six show, months? I'm going to show her, yo. Six months, Matt? Yeah. You got to fix the fuck no. up right now. No. And I'm not saying it like how I'm saying it, but, yeah, Doug, we, sit we, down just and talk. we just got went... married. We just went through a y'all honeymoon. Got a, or y'all y'all honeymoon got a crib pending. together, bro. Like, fuck out of here. Y'all got a joint account. That's why you got prenup. Oh, my God. We're not getting started with that shit. Nah, I'm not hearing that, yo. And if nah. it's, especially if it's her fault. Like yo, yo let's sit down and talk. Let's talk. Yeah, let's like, talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk it but, out. I'll talk it out. And if we can't come to a certain like understanding, then it's all right, bet. But like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try first. I'm not gonna you say have to try, I'm yeah. not gonna say ah ah nah. Yeah, divorce. You have to try. That looks crazy on you. Yeah, yeah it all depends. That looks crazy on you. Yeah. Doesn't even matter what happens. It all dep- it all depends on what exactly it is that, that she did. It all depends it's on It's in the it relationship. It's in the relationship. It's not her because going out and fucking Three bands. No, it's in the relationship. It's relationship shit. Between each other. In the relationship. It's in the relationship. It's just things between each other. No outsiders. Just you two. Yeah, you can work that shit out. You just gotta you gotta fucking put all put all your fucking shit on the table. 
and say, mm-hmm. okay, what 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 the fuck's going wrong with you? Why why are you pissed? Why why are you have like what what are you feeling like? What am I doing? I wrong? always feel like there's always and then the same thing. We exchange always, the other side. What am I doing wrong? I always feel like there's like expectations from the other side that were expected and weren't met, and that's why the person's upset and they take that to the next level. That's why I always I always think that. Yeah, it can always be always. pent up anger too, because a lot of times what happens is like couples will fucking just break up randomly because he did something or she did something time ago. And, time then, ago. and then and then the other the other partner didn't say shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's, let's, the, let's, other, the let's, other partner didn't say, say shit. The other partner was just like, ah, oh, they did it like one time. Yeah, let's address that real quick. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? No, it's a bad thing. Bad Absolutely thing, a bad bro. thing. When, when when shit comes up, you got to address it. Share how you it. feel, yo. Yeah, you got to you got to put your shit on the table. Guys, if you bury it, it's gonna come up, and then you're gonna explode. Guys, stop being stupid and thinking, yo, it's a manly thing not to say some shit. That's Sometimes me. you have to say some shit. That's me. Or else she's not gonna know. That's me. Like how? Like it's it's the most open mm. concept. Ever and guys are just too stupid to understand that. And let me just not even put it on guys, but it's mainly guys that be doing that shit. Yeah, where they she's don't she's gonna it. follow you. She's following your lead. And also, you're yes, the leader. Yes, you're and, the leader. And also, pun intended. No pun Cordell. intended with Cordell. Right, but also <laughs> let me let me add this too. Thanks, guys. <laughs> also, as a guy, you have to make her feel comfortable enough to share some shit with you because she might be like, for example. The the uh, tomboy kind of thing where like yo or tom girl sorry, whatever tom girl tom girl, where she doesn't really want to express herself right because she yeah. thinks it's weak shit but at the same time she's it's going through those shit cheating, and it yeah. would be helpful for her to and express hit, it. It'd be helpful for a relationship. For everybody, everybody. But to, if you hold it in, how the fuck am I gonna know what's wrong? Yo, I wh- tell Matt all the time. Yo, mm. this is da 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 da. He knows. We put our yeah. shit out on the table. It's true. You have to know. You have to communicate. But do you know how annoying it is sometimes, though? Like, with that communication being put in place, but then, the, like, it will happen again. Like, whatever, like, you guys had that conversation about, because mm-hmm. of the problem, or the problem was, yeah, that conversation was good, mm-hmm. but then it comes up two months later. That's when I shut off. Because it's like, my thing, I, I get to my point, it's like, okay. we had this conversation. Yeah, Why are we back here again? Got it. Yeah, That's so, where it's like I don't say a word. Yeah, so and I'm, I just watch. Mm-hmm. I just watch, and it's oh, like yeah. a tip for all the uh, couples out there: if you guys are in a relationship, have one day a week, pick an hour where you guys sit down and you put all the shit on the table. Anything that pissed you off that week, anything that literally, literally just like, put it all wait, on the table. Sorry, Matt, to cut you off. Is it that one hour I'm talking about? Everything that's pissed me off. That, everything that pissed. That, wait, wait, every, Matt, every, let me just, Matt, let me just you finish. Can't hear him, I'm, I'm let me talk. just finish. Is it everything that pissed me off about what? Is going on in our relationship, or and that pissed me off that week, like with everything, like work, family, this, anything that, that anything that comes up, because you're gonna be doing. Think about you're do, you're gonna be doing this on a weekly basis. So families included, like everything that's yeah. on this. Anything me that's off, on, anything that's on your head, we're putting you, you, it, we're you, dropping. You, you, have, you literally have one to two like, hours to talk shit out. Hey, babe, I didn't I didn't like the way you were snoring that and other night, man. I couldn't sleep. Exactly. I work at five o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Example. I'm, I'm, Put that shit extra, on the table. Exa- like, no, 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 no. That's that's exactly what that's for. That's extra, but yeah. If you no. communicate with your girlfriend, you don't have to do that. Shit, shit, shit doesn't change. No, it, an hour. No. I feel like if that's you too communicate with your girlfriend. I feel like to do that. Yeah. So, but I I get it though. It's good, but if you. Have that open communication. At least I'm, if, I can if, talk for me. If, I can't talk. If you for have it like it, it's kind of it's kind of like us I having strive. a podcast and having a safe space like once a week to hash it out. You know what I mean? Like and be able to talk about shit that's on our brains. It's the same kind of idea. I strive on planning and communicating, just so I know what I'm doing next week. I know what I'm saving up for. I know what I'm not doing and I'm what I'm gonna do. I know I'm not gonna buy those shoes next week. I know that like we need to save up for a house or a car mm-hmm. or X. Yeah, a new dog, whatever the case may be. But if you don't communicate with me, guess what? I'm gonna go and buy my own shit. I'm gonna go and splurge. Mm-hmm. Life's short to a certain point. Mm-hmm. Life's short to a certain point. So communication, I always say, is the highest key. Highest key. Yeah. What was what was our original question? <laughs> we always get off. Oh yeah, we, we always get off on a fucking. You tangent. remixed it. That's why we got into your question. Yeah. The actual question that I was asking you guys was no well, for the six months. No, I'm gonna write it through. Like I'm gonna try to work it out because based on everything I've heard now, I will I will sit down and we'll look to fix it. Dog, you guys have to remember, like, yo, like the breakup is not just a regular breakup. Like that's my girlfriend. Oh, no, yeah, that's no, my it's, wife. It's like it's yeah. a, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's it's it's, it's an expensive. Everything it's from upped. the breakup. It's upped. It's even upped. even when uh guy friends that are married, I tell them, yo, don't cheat. 
because that cheat is an expensive ass cheat. It is. Dog is not worth, worth it. it. It's not. It's not worth it. So, this is exactly why you think twice about getting married. It's true. Think twice. Think more than twice, if, buddy. If if you're not ready, and don't if she if, if she's not doesn't check a lot of your boxes, don't, don't do, do it. it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's the same kind of idea that DB said, like nah. cheating or or like picking the girl. It's the same thing. How much time do we have? We have twenty minutes. Bet. Um, I have another scenario for you guys. Yeah. Can you run it? Run it. Bet. Um. What are those people called that have that crystal ball and you can go and see? Gypsies. Yes. Sorry. A fortune teller. Not fortune gypsies. teller. Sorry, gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fortune tellers. Gypsy curvy ones. Let's say, for example, you go see a fortune teller and she tells you, Matt, I'm going to put you in that situation that you do, do have it. a girlfriend. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, just put yourself in that bag. Mm-hmm. Two years, whatever the case may be. Yep. Well known, wifey. Okay, let's say for example, the fortune teller tells you in the next five years that person is going to be broke. She's going to be relying on you, and it's it's all up to you. Are you staying? Or are you going with that information? You have that information now. What are you doing? So I have to carry her, like essentially, like in five years, there's a chance that she will be jobless, no dollars. At her lowest, basically at the lowest point in her life, are you are you carrying her, or are you are you off it? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Interesting. That's that's what I gotta say about that. Interesting. Because you can you can be aware that shit's coming. It's it, it's almost like a fortune teller coming to you and being like, "All right, you're you're gonna you're gonna no. you're, you're gonna develop this cancer in like six or that's, eight months." No. All right, cool. Bet I'm not gonna fucking go kill myself right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, "All right, this is a challenge. Let's fucking go deal with this shit." You know what I mean? Like. If if you know what's coming, it's 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 not going to be set in stone because now that you know it's coming, you can take steps to mitigate it. Okay. And you can and you can take steps to be like be like all right, you you you're looking at everything to see if it's coming, like see where it's coming, see what angle, all that kind of stuff. Pause. Um, <laughs> what this is a great question by Cordell. All right, I don't think Cordell gets highlighted on his little uh, scenario slash asking question. So shout out to Cordell for that. Um, me and Cordell pride. Thank you, sir. Me and Quirrell pride ourselves on planning. Like, we do. My girl's talking to me about um, wanting to go out for New Year's, and it's uh, sorry. My girl's talking to me about wanting to go out for New Year's, and it's like uh, in like what nine days. Yeah, I'm like, me and Quirrell would plan this like in October. Exactly. So, fuck is he talking about with that shit? It's um, kind of too late now. It is. It's kind of too late. Airbnbs, like, hotel, like it doesn't matter. Oh, Air, look for. Yeah, Airbnbs, it's, it's Airbnbs aren't even doing uh, one night stays. Oh, I, I two nights. Yeah, and then then and then the price is still jacked up. Yeah. So, oh. but if you if you planned it ahead, sorry, sorry, I fucked up the mic. If you planned up ahead, you don't got to do that bullshit. Yeah. Right. So, so we, now with this fortune teller telling me this, thank you. I'm able to plan ahead, hold some like money for her because if she's gonna be broken five years, you said yeah, perfect. And who who even knows in those five years if you guys are still gonna even be together? She might be just saying that, and I I don't know. Maybe I'm twisting up your question kind of thing. But yeah. okay, you give me five years. Okay, I could plot da 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 da. da, da. Okay, we're d- cutting out this this and that. The real question is, do you tell your thing now, yo? Fortune teller said this. Yes. Absolutely. You got to tell her. Because I want her to know and have that in the back of her head and to make sure she keeps striving. T- doesn't matter what comes in your path. You're going to continue. And I want her to know that if this is going to be like my wife, be like to know I'm going to be right behind you. Yes. Because I heard, I heard some answers to this question and I heard a lot of people saying like, then no. Like it, might, it might start a fight too right then some, and there when you tell her. Some people don't want to support other people. Mm-hmm. Because, they, again, they don't know where it's going to go. They don't know how long we're really going to be together. Yeah. Yo, so that's why The people like, that are there when you're at your lowest, the people that are, are literally there to support you, those are the real ones. You want to show you crazy? That ass. Shout out to those ones. I heard this question on... I heard this question on another podcast, and three of the shorties said, no, I'm leaving him. Yeah, because those are IG thoughts. Three of the men said, I'm there. 
I'm there. I'm holding it down. Like I'll hold it. I'll hold it down. This is this is this, this is exactly like female like, and male whoa, answers. It's just this like, is, females are always looking for the best, like the best of the best mate. Like they. It's always this. Yeah, they're 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 always looking. That's that's always that's this. you can't I'm blame a female all. for that. I'm not saying all, but no, no, all females are wired for that. Every single female is wired to go up and up and up. They're always looking for the best mate. So you, as a man, got to be the best that you can fucking be. You're competing with all the other men damn out there. Two. So two things. Great point, Matt. Two things. Um, if I Get some gunshots for yourself. Yes. If I two things, okay. If I and hopefully I remember the second one. If I go to the fortune teller and they tell me this, right? And I tell my girl this info. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate when I say some shit where it's like, I know this is going to happen or this may happen, whatever. This is a may happen, but yeah. whatever. Solid shit. I go to them and I show them this shit, and they're like, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's just like, bruh. So now it's really just me in the cut. And now, secondly, what I also wanted to add is, yo, uh, this goes back to my hate list. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> A lot of y'all, I know who y'all exes were. <laughs> <laughs> I seen how ugly your exes were. And you would post them. Okay? So don't. Shout out to Lassie P. This is just a next, yeah. This is just a next flex, but like, don't be out curvy mans that look better than your ex. Cause I know your ex used to look like a rat. <laughs> My man's trying to holler at you and he's handsome and he's 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 as fuck. You used to be a fucking rat, bitch. The fuck? I didn't understand that shit. Do you say a direct say who. message? He's yeah. saying a direct message right Bug. now. I hope y'all know that. Bug. The tank and I I I <laughs> <laughs> it is a direct message. It's, it's a, a direct, direct message. message. Fuck, it's a DM. But no, like, dog, I just don't understand it. Do you know who I'm talking about? Mm-mm. I'll say that after. after. But it's just like, dog, you suppose old boy all the time, and I'm just like, yo, he, he lucked up or yeah. laughed his way into the pokes. Or, of course. That's how it be sometimes. He done dollars, something. He done dollars, something. Right? Did something, right? But my man's trying to holler at her, and she's just moving stingy with it. And it's just like, dog, my man's is up. He has his own place. She's going to go for the man that's up. I hope they'll know something. Always. No, though, but that's the thing. But that's she went the, for the rat? But she she dated the rat, right? No, mm-hmm. this is, give me, let me give you the timeline. So, she did, let me give you the timeline, okay, man, okay, before you okay. answer. She dated the rat, <laughs> ugly man. They broke up. She started knowing her her worth. Because mm. she knows. Because she, like, she's not ugly. She got it. So that's why when she was dating the rat, I'm like, Okay, clearly you just went to the first man that really put in work. Yeah. Broke up, whatever, whatever, and now is in the stage of just flexing. And now it's just like, dog, my man's is not no ugly ass nigga like your ex. So just, I might know then. So yes, you know, of yeah, course you know. I might know stuff. The fuck? Yeah. So it's just weird, just weird shit. Now I'm noticing it. Just stupid petty shit. So. Women, women are different in the way in the way they're uh, they're attracted. It's not as much looks. There's there's a there's a full equation for women. No, it really is. And also, just to touch on one more thing before, because I don't know how much time we're at, but like looking at it, you can shoot your shot to your fucking out of bullets. The defense on these shorties nowadays is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but all of a sudden, their shield will drop for like a little pistol, and you'd be like, "Fam, I'm I had the AK up." For time, oh gosh, yeah. For time, yeah. what bear rounds? Yeah. Is, is, but then you took a little pistol, so it's like, honestly, personally for me, I I know exactly why that is, and I'll tell you why after. Personally for me, if what my shit is not gonna work out, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. I promise you that. I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Mm. So it's right, not worth it. Right, right before we cut off here, so so the, there, there's a reason why guys have to go for the numbers game, and this is what it is. Some girls. They they may have they they may go out one night and like seven mans talk to them and on the seventh she finally is like let's say all the mans have like the same status everything like that same status same amount of money all that kind of stuff mm. she might just say yes to that seven man because like in her brain in her DNA all that kind of stuff it's just like yo go for the seven man and every girl is different they're programmed differently their schemas all the way they grow up this, this all happens this all happens when they're kids they got programs in their brain as as to what what they say yes to what they say no to what turns them on all that kind of stuff so. This is why, as guys, you got to run the numbers. If they, if they reject you, they say no, you're on to the next one. This is like masculinity. This is towards mentality. Of course. Literally, on to the next one. Fuck her, move on. That's a fact. Yes, Matthew. I love that. That is 
That's it. Yes, that's sir. All, that's all we got for y'all, yo. That's enough yeah. gems this episode. I'm going to give y'all the next shit tomorrow still. We got another pod. We got a next pod we're shooting. It's with a great guest. Dropping the new year, man. <laughs> um, It's going to be our first EP of the new year, actually. It is. So it's going to be real special. We're going to make sure that one is fucking lit as fuck because, honestly, me and Cordell just holding this shit down. We trying to just holding this shit down, <laughs> and the way that I've just been setting up and plotting, and I failed. Worry. I failed in that process. We've all failed. Fucking Amazon. Fuck you and your fucking <laughs> fake ass MacBooks. Fuck you guys. Right? We've all failed, man. It's okay. But it's okay because I'm doing this shit and I'm grinding and I'm making sure the shit is possible. Set back and set up for a comeback, man. Let's get uh, it. Absolutely. Come on now. I didn't get it tattooed for no reason. Come on, sir. This was another great EP. Episode 83 of Round Table Top, baby. Let's get it. Shout out fucking Matt. Shout out Keston. Let's go. Shout out my boy DV. And we'll see y'all in the new year, baby. Let's get it. Tuh. The fuck?